Welcome to Revlog, where we are now in the month of December. Yes. We are now at Advent 2. It feels different this year, I got to tell you. It feels completely different. But but, but Christmas tide is not far behind. Not, yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're we're marching forward. Should we have we, should we have changed the candles to something else for pandemic year or something? I don't know. <laughs> Ma- uh, maybe. Yeah. Perhaps. It, does. it feels it feels so different. It does feel We different. don't blow them out during COVID <laughs> time. Just let, let, let them burn. <laughs> Just let them burn. That's right. By the way, if you do blow them out, make sure you're wearing a mask. <laughs> In which case, you can't blow them out, I guess. Th- thank you for <laughs> It's good. If you have it's any good. thoughts for Aaron on how he can safely <laughs> blow out the candles <laughs> for Advent, we need a little bellows. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. And doesn't that just stoke the fire? It, it does, just like it makes it, it go it just <laughs> makes it <laughs> go even further. Leap higher. <laughs> uh, but I do love the Christmas season. The sanctuary is beautiful. Yes. I mean, that's coming along nicely. Brian, what do you think of the trees in the loft? Uh, they are. It's quite a forest. <laughs> I uh, I haven't been able to see that forest because there are too many trees oh so. wow uh, <laughs> oh wow that's that was, that was really ridiculous this, that's where we're gonna go today i, I guess <laughs> that's i was gonna let him talk first today too i don't know if oh, i should should word. i have i blown it it's just, uh, just bad <laughs> bad right. humor well today we began a new study mm-hmm. in the book of mark we're gonna spend um the next couple of months in the first three chapters of the book of mark and we start right at the beginning mark 1 1 through verse 8, today's John the Baptist as we prepare f- for Advent and for Christmas, for the coming of the Christ. And so I'm going to go ahead and let Brian go first. We'll see how this goes. So Brian, Mark 1.1. One, one. Thank you. Yes. What, what were your initial reactions to this text? Well, you know, this is, a, this is the oldest gospel yeah, that's right. that we have. And it was groundbreaking in that it was a new kind of literature. Um, and it is, it's, it has some history in it, of course, but that's not the purpose of it. Uh, the, the purpose really is gospel. And this new kind of literature is proclamation. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it, it is from, from the get-go, the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's right. Let's go into the wilderness right now. And, and it was... Um, it was written during a, a time, perhaps, of persecution, right. in which the the young church uh, was cloistered together, uh, often in secret. And of course, we have hmm. John the Baptist in the wilderness, mm-hmm. you know, uh, and and they felt probably like they were wandering in the wilderness. You have things like wild beasts mentioned only in Mark, really, and uh, y- you have you know. The persecution of Christians. You're not calling John the Baptist a wild beast. No, no, no. Okay. He was in the wilderness with wild beasts, <laughs> and you and you know, and Jesus uh, was out uh, often in, in lonely places, you know, mm-hmm. and 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 you have um, all these experiences of the of the church reflected in some way yeah. in this Gospel of Mark, you know, and it's just a it becomes a even though it's a rougher kind of read than you would find in John or in, in the other Gospels, it, it tenderly reflects the, the great need of the church to, to hear in a time of, of great trouble that there is this coming Savior. Mm. Yeah. And I can, I can think of no better time than 2020 to begin to delve into this gospel uh, absolutely i mean i'm i'm honestly kind of just already wanted to get to 2021 right just yeah to indeed get, get this right. month over with but no I, I hear you this is um a beautiful picture and i like the way you put that of who christ is to the church mm. and, and what he means to yeah. the church and, yeah. and who he is that's good uh, aaron what were your initial thoughts here well it's really interesting how this starts, you know, with Matthew and Luke, um, how they begin with his birth narrative, mm-hmm. and then John with that beautiful overarching in the beginning uh, mm-hmm. statement. But you know, if this were a screenplay, you know, we meet our hero, 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. F- you know, f- fully fully developed. You, you know, we're, uh, we're as already a man. on Tatooine. That, yeah. Right. So so this would you know you you put this in cinemas, and then you'd come back and do the prequels. You know, yeah. so, sometime later, because I mean, Jesus is you know when he comes on the scene, he is. It, yeah. The, Mark just jumps into the ministry. Just jumps in yeah. the middle of it. it it's yeah. it's interesting in that. Um, what what strikes me is uh, first of all the fashion sense of John. You know, the yes, beautiful camel hair jacket. I mean, I I think so. You read that as beautiful. I do. I, people give him a hard time. I think camel hair is just always a beautiful fashion statement in winter. You know, a le- nice leather belt that goes with it. <laughs> I, I, perhaps I'm reading that wrong. John, but on the runway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps I'm reading that wrong. But but you know, I have this image of you know a very fashionable. Uh, Brooks yeah. Brothers. Well, the wilderness look is in now, yeah. right? I mean, that's fair. Yeah, he's probably not somewhere. Anna Wintour, is, uh, <laughs> but but you over in her. But you hear office. this 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 person who's been in the wilderness and is typically um, portrayed as someone who's a little rough around the edges, right? Um, and yet, there's something so compelling about him mm-hmm. that people confess. Yeah, you know, he preaches yeah. repentance, and I know that you're just. I, I assume that the, the first, yeah. the, the, I, I can hear a theme here coming yeah. from your your sermon, but that his his words are confess, repent, and mm-hmm. and people just do. Yeah, and yeah. and and I just am, am struck by that that the, that it's not necessarily about the vessel. I mean, you know, if mm-hmm. this guy is someone who's a little bit crazy. That, that God just used him in, in that circumstance, and people just were ready. They were ripe to, to, to hear this, this good news and, and to be confronted with it. Well, and if you remember, we go back to the Luke story. I mean, even in the womb, right? He was That's right. Uh, recognized the Christ. And Love it. Yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. picture. He was already from day one um, who God had called him to be. So, uh, Brian, as you were reading through this, what question... Uh, did you have of the text? Aaron said people were ready, mm-hmm. and and people are ready. That's yeah. right. Am I ready for their readiness? Gotcha. And that's yeah. my question. Yeah. Am are I ready for their readiness? Are you? I want to be. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we have this call in Scripture to be ready in season and out of that's season. That's right. Right. Um, Ready to share an account with and, the and Lord. And the reason we're told that is because people are ready. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And again, it, it, just to, I mean, getting more points for you, Pastor, but but just the, the, the witness portion of your of your mm-hmm. commission to us right. that that there are Ethiopian right, exactly. out there that, yeah. that just are, are really sitting around just asking questions. And yeah. are we going to show up to that and meeting? That's right. right. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's good. And and. And that's that's the point of my question, really. Um, I take the liberty to assign a narrative to people that is not necessarily so. Yeah. I say they, you know, they're not interested in that, or this person is preoccupied with that. People are ready. Mm-hmm. Am I ready? Yeah, and, and I think you're right. I think one of the great traps that we fall into is we tell ourselves, well, I didn't notice anybody who, who was yeah. ready today, and that's probably more an indictment on our ability to see yeah. rather than someone not being ready. Yeah. Right. I'm not ready for their readiness. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Now, Aaron, what question came to mind for you? Well, again, I'm, I, I just want to – I visualize this guy coming out of the wilderness and, and these people that, that flock to him, and I'm thinking – were they religious people? Were they uh, Jews? Were they, and and yet whatever they, the system they were holding to, they were willing to let go of dogma. They were willing to let go of past their their sin, and 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 be transformed by the good news. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I mean, the person of Jesus has has yet to, to come on the scene, but right. but but John is is preaching. You know, guys, we've got to prepare ourselves. We've got to get right. Yeah. And I'm and I'm and I wonder. We have we have the end of the story. We know where where all that's going. And is there something in my um, am, am I holding back that that I'm unwilling to, to to preach the way John did or 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 share the way John did? Uh, because 
<laughs> when confronted with the good news, people people changed. I mean, people yeah, were that's there. Right. And I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I think I'm examining my own heart, just going, am I le- allowing the Holy Spirit to just use me as John did? Uh, because Amen. he just was sold out. Yeah. And, and that's, right. a, that's a good point. I mean, John was used to facilitate. Uh, he, he facilitated people's receptiveness. Mm-hmm. Clearly, they were ready, but boy, he he really facilitated that yeah. and, ch- and helped them channel that readiness. We can we can be used in that same way. I yeah. think I think we uh, we have to if we're going to be sensitive to people, we have to recognize okay, they're ready. How can I facilitate that readiness? Yeah, that's right. When I love uh, uh, one of the things I love about this passage is as it's describing who John the Baptist is, it points back to Scripture, right? He points yes. back to Isaiah mm-hmm. and says, this is fulfilling the promise and work and word of God. That's right. Um, and, from ages ago. And the same time looking forward going, that's right. I'm not him. Exactly. Let, yeah, let's yeah, let's yeah, be yeah, really right. clear, <laughs> right. you know, that yeah. you know, I, I'm here as a, pr- of a fulfillment of Scripture talk pointing towards the, the one exactly. that it is the real right. deal. That's right. Yeah, exactly. That's right. That's humility. That's I mean, there's mm-hmm. so much in that that it's it's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, we would love to hear your thoughts on Mark one one through eight. If you'd comment below.